Should electric cars be taxed from 2025? Well, if you're the UK government, the answer is clearly yes, they should. However, this video is going to discuss some of the issues that you might not be aware of around the tax on electric cars that's coming in. And as a previous supporter of EVs finally being road taxed, I'm actually a little bit angry about the way this is being introduced. Now, before we get to talk about the issues for road tax for electric vehicles, let's set some groundwork out on what the actual costs are and when the costs are being introduced. So from 2025 April, any cars that were registered from the 1st of April 2017 will pay £165 a year road tax and any EVs costing over £40,000, so quite a number of EVs there, will pay an extra £355 for the first five years for three years on top of the £165. Now, we've got that out of the way. Let's talk about some of the real big issues that I've actually just said. The first issue is the 1st of April introduction of the cars that will pay it from 2017. And why is it the 1st of April an issue? Well, in the UK, we have new registration plates. So we have a, a system where they get renewed every March and September and September to March, we get a new plate. And for the April 2017, the plate from March to September is a 17 plate. But seeing the road taxes from the government is being introduced from the 1st of April, some 17 plates will have no road tax and some 17 plates will pay road tax. Why is this a problem? Well, if you're buying or selling a used 17 plate electric vehicle, some of them will pay £165 road tax and some of them won't. This will cause confusion on the second hand market, confusion for the seller market and some buyers will be cut out by this, especially if they're buying a 17 plate which they thought didn't have any road taxes and it turns out it does. What would I like to see the government do? I'd like to see them align the 1st of April date with maybe the 1st of March and then we know that all 17 plates will carry the road tax. I also have issue with it being cars registered from 2017 because in 2025, those cars will be eight years old. They're quite considerably old EVs. Now, I'm saying they're gonna be eight years old and I'm noting how old they're gonna be right now because later on in the video, we're gonna be talking about old cars and road tax and it does come back to this eight year thing in a second. But before we go there, let's go back to where we are now, which is those cars, Bought in 2017 will pay road tax and anyone buying a car between 2017 and onwards that is newer on a plate or an EV will pay road tax. And I think this is unfair because I think people who bought the car prior to the budget in November 2022 bought thinking that they'd get free road tax on the car and they may have budgeted and bought a more expensive car than they traditionally would have. This also means that I think the government personally should have maybe said any car registered from November 2022 will have road tax from 2025. That would have been fairer and it would seem that it's not punishing people for past purchases because the government decided they wanted to plug a financial hole that they could have introduced a very small road tax thing, which we'll get to in a minute, in a gradual manner. Now, moving away from the actual road tax cost of £100, let's move to that luxury tax cost. That luxury tax cost is £355 for the first five years. And I think this is unfair because it treats all cars over £40,000 as luxury vehicles. Now, let's be honest, EVs cost more money. This, there is a considerable amount of EVs under £40,000, but there is also quite a number of EVs over £40,000. And I think that having this luxury tax at £40,000 for EVs is unfair. I think EVs should have either had a 50% reduction on that, or they should have seen the threshold rise from 40 to £50,000 EVs will pay the luxury road tax. Because there is a lot of EVs that are not going to be luxury at £40,000 in four years time, three years time, because those cars from three years time, a 40 grand EV should have dropped to around about 25 grand. And that for a lot of people isn't a luxury car secondhand. That is the most they can possibly afford. And it's not a new 40,000 pound car. I don't think we should treat them the same way as petrol. I do think we should have a reduction or I do think that we, they should raise the threshold. At least if they raise the threshold to 50 grand, I'd argue that all the EVs over 50 grand are in the luxury car market. I'd like to know your thoughts below in the comments. Now let's get back to the 165 pound figure. 
In 2025, petrol and diesel and electric cars will all pay the same road tax of £165. Now, I think that, you know, we should pay road tax as EV owners. I do think that there is a government black hole that we need to pay and fill. And if it's £165 for EV owners, that's fine. However, I think we should have a more carrot and stick approach towards the ICE drivers, which means that we pay 165 as EV owners, but I think ICE drivers should pay more. And I think most people will agree with me. They should pay £195 a year. And I also think we should add a pollution tax to them, maybe £80 a year pollution tax on top of that. And that means that every single year on the road, we're going to increase that pollution tax by £10 a year that those non-electric cars are still on the road and I think that those pollution taxes should also apply to hybrid vehicles. What do you think though? Let me know again in the comments. Now finally I said I get back to why the eight-year EV matters in 2025 and that is because when that eight-year EV in 2025 is paying £165 a year road tax there will be a diesel 10-year-old uh, diesel vehicle on the road paying £30 road tax because it's on the old tax system before the government introduced the same set fee for all cars. That means that this diesel car is a low pollution CO2 vehicle and will pay less road tax than your electric vehicle. I think that is absolutely bonkers. Now before in the video I did say that I think that EVs should pay their fair way in tax but I don't think that EVs should pay more than a diesel car in tax. If you're interested in learning about another thing that I disagreed on, see this video I did about reducing the VAT on public charges.